Okay, so in honor of today, March 31st, being two, three years ago, three years ago, Matt and I went on our very first date. Now, um, I wanted to do something special and there's obviously not a lot of things that I could do because of, you know, the pandemic and a lot being closed and just, you know, not going out. But so I thought this was kind of my special way of doing something special and sharing, you know, how we started. So I was actually wearing this exact shirt. Sorry, when, when I look over, I am like making sure you guys can see it in the mirror in front of me. But basically, I wore this shirt on our first date. Um, so Matt and I had been talking and, you know, getting to know each other and becoming friends first, like a month before we actually went out for the first time. Um, I was very shy when it came to him at first. He was, he was very intimidating. Um, you know, in the sitting in the back of class, he just kind of sit there like leaning up against the back wall. And I could hear him talking, like I could hear talking knowing it was him and like his friends back there. But he would just kind of sit there and I'd hear him laugh and he would kind of always like, the teacher would always get mad at him for either, you know, having his backpack or not wearing something that wasn't the uniform. And you know, also the fact that I was the only junior in that class. So I felt like super intimidated anyways. So um, we started talking, we were friends, um, flirty friends. And <laughs> um, he, had, he had had made many attempts. I mean, many attempts to try to hang out with me or go out with me. Like he would kind of subtly ask, like, want to hang out? Or he would come up with ideas of things to do. And I wanted to, but I was too shy. Also, I had just gotten out of a relationship at school. It was, you know, I really didn't know how to handle it because all of high school up until then, and you know, I know people don't really date in middle school, but still, I always avoided dating in school because when you date someone in your school, that means everyone's in your business, everyone's asking about it, everyone knows about it, and I just never really liked that. And, you know, when I went to this school, um, I had dated someone in school, and then it didn't work out. So we broke up and a few months passed. Like I said, he kept making his attempts to ask me out. And I would say either maybe, or like we'll find a time. Cause I didn't want to say no. And I wanted to go, but I didn't want to say yes. Cause I was like, is it too soon? Um, like, am I ready for this? Um, you know, and finally, 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 um, Oh wait, no, before I get into that, before I get into that. So already before we before we even hung out, Matt kind of, at least maybe he just asked because it was fun, but maybe he thought like, oh, if I convince her to do track with me, because Matt was big into track, all of his friends did track, you know, they all had a great time. And he's like, oh, well, if I convince her to do track, that means she could hang out with me after school. But you know, it's not like going out one-on-one, -on -one, so it's a good way to hang out. So I had already joined track before we went out. We hung out after school, meaning like at track practice and everything. Like it was super, super fun. Like I, you know, him and his friends would tend to kind of mess around during practices and not really take it seriously. But then they would, whenever they were at track meets or whatever, they would go like hard, like they would like actually try and like take it seriously. So finally, I think it was either at track or he just messaged me and he was like, no, nope, I got that wrong. So I used to work at a local um, frozen yogurt and ice cream place. And I was working one day and I was wearing this shirt. I had, I'm, I'm looking at the pictures on my computer. So I, you know, can kind of put myself into the day. I had this like Nantucket red Vineyard Vines hat on and then I think just some like random gray leggings. I didn't feel like putting leggings on. They're so annoying to put on. So 
Um, I'm actually looking at the Snapchats that I was Snapchatting with him saved. So he was just like, oh, hey, like, what are you doing today? Like, and I was like, oh, I work. And he's like, oh, like, when do you work until? And I was like, oh, like three or something. So he's like, oh, like, want to hang out? Like, I'll come get you. Like, we can find something to do. And I was like thinking to myself, I can't chicken out because I'll be busy thinking about work and like, you know, I'll just be occupied. It's a nice day, a lot of customers. And um, I was like, and since I'll be so busy, I can't like overthink it. And you know, it'll, and he'll just show up. It's not like I have to go like stress about what I'm wearing. So I'm already stuck with what I'm wearing and how I look. Thankfully I wore makeup to that, to work that day. But, so I was like, you know what? Sure, this is where I work, come get me at that at like three or even a little bit sooner you can I can like get you something and you know you can just watch so um time passes my idea of oh I'm working I won't think about it because I'm busy no that didn't work I was nervous I was thinking about it and I saw the clock like, I would look up at the clock and I was thinking oh my god it's getting closer to three it's getting closer to three I was like <laughs> I was like okay you can do this now I, I thought, you know, I thought he was super cute, super funny, super handsome, everything. Like, um, not only was he in the grade above me, but you know, like, you know, why does some like random, like hand, like hot senior, like want anything to do with me? So, um, he walks in and he actually came in the wrong door. So there's two doors in the ice cream shop. There's one that you come in and you, it leads you right up to where you order. And then uh, then you like get your ice cream or whatever and you pay and you go out the other door. So Matt came in the exit and he was standing in the corner and I was like, oh my God, he's here, oh my God, he's here. Like, do I have anything on me? Do I have like ice cream on me anywhere? Like, is my hair look okay? Does my makeup look okay? I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I think it was one of the girls that I was working with was super chill and I'd worked with her before. And I was like, hey, like my friend just got here. Do you mind if I leave like five or 10 minutes early? And she's like, oh, sure. So I um, finished like my last customer. I like took my apron off. I signed my time card and um, I made him a little pint of, or yeah, a pint. I made him a pint of um, green monster, which is like, I think mint ice cream with Oreos. And then I wrote his name on the lid and it said like from K or something like dash K. So I, I brought it to him and he was like, trying to eat, like eat it in the car with no spoon like licking it like it's on a cone while you know we're driving and I was like oh hey how are you and we walk out and we get in the car and he's like so like what were you thinking what do you want to do and I was like thinking to myself this is a first date I don't want to make it a super huge deal but I also don't want it to be super casual like you know McDonald's or something so I thought to myself what's a good idea, what's a good, you know, first impression place. So I thought, oh, there's a Camella's nearby. You know, pizza's pretty easy, it, um, easy to eat, you know, not too messy. So I was like, oh, like, let's go to Camella's. So we drove up to Camella's and there was parking right out front. And, um, but it was meter parking. So he's like, oh, like, I don't have any quarters. And I was like, oh, neither do I. So he's like, here, here's like $2 worth. And he's like, can you run in and go get quarters? So I get out and I'm walking in and I can like see slash like feel Matt like checking me out. And I just got even more nervous. I'm like, oh my God, like don't, don't do anything stupid, Kay. Like don't do anything stupid, all right? And um, so I come out with the quarters, we go in, we order this big, huge cheese pizza, something simple, you know, something you both like, something that won't get stuck in your teeth, like if you get all the stuff on it. So, um, I actually am looking right now on my computer. I know, isn't it so cute? I recently made these stickers. Okay, off topic, but I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the picture of Matt. So I'll kind of show you in the video what I'm talking about. But, um, so Matt and I basically had the same outfit on because I was working and then it, He's a guy, so he's wearing a t-shirt. But basically, his t-shirt was navy blue as well. And if I look at it, I think it was like, it had a red like fish in the same spot as the logo for the catch on mine. And um, I think it's like some fishing tournament shirt. 
And then I was wearing my red hat and he was just wearing a baseball cap too. It was like a Patriots baseball cap. And then I think he was just wearing khaki shorts and I was wearing the leggings. Anyways, back to Camilla's. So I was super nervous. So I wasn't terribly hungry. So I only had like a slice or two, same with him. So we just got a box, we packaged it up and I, I really liked hanging out with him. Like we were actually talking, like we were being funny, like, you know, joking around, like it was fun. Like I didn't want to be like, hey, like we just sat and had food for a half hour, like peace. I wanted to find something else to do. So um, I know there's this college in the area that has a pond that has really pretty walking trails around it. So um, I said, you know what? There's this like kind of like pond in the area and we can like take a walk. It's really pretty there. And he's like, oh, like, okay. So then I were like almost there. I'm telling, I know how to get to the college and that side, but then halfway there, I'm like, crap. Like, I don't know how to get to that exact entrance and that exact parking lot where you park and you st and that's the beginning of the trail. I was like, why did I do that? Why did I say that if I didn't even know how to get there? So we get there, right? I am BSing the directions, like praying that they're the right way. And we got somewhere and it was a little parking lot near like where a part of the trail starts. I was like, all right, good, good. Like this is something, like I don't look like an idiot, you know? So we hop out and we just start walking. We're talking, we're getting to know each other. We're joking around, like catching up. Um, and you know, whenever Matt either wanted to like hug me or like, kiss me or anything, the back of the shirt says, catch me, you know, based off of, like the catch, catch me. It's like a lobster or like seafood place. Um, every time, and I, I didn't even do this on purpose. I just so happened to say this and the shirt so happened to like match. But whenever he like would ask if he could like hug me or kiss me or something, I'd be too scared to be like, yeah. So I'd be like, well, you have to catch me first. So, I'm so, ugh. So I would literally say you have to catch me first. I'd look him dead in the eye and then I would sprint as fast as I could because I actually wanted it to like be like, oh, like I can run fast. And um, he'd always catch me because he's six foot with really long legs so I can never beat him. That was so aggressive. <laughs> no, but yeah. So, but that wasn't the day we had our first kiss. Frankie, chill. He's getting aggressive with his bones over there. So, um, that wasn't like the day we had our first kiss. I'll get more into that later. I'll maybe even tell the story of that. Maybe not. But, um, so we were, we kind of walked a good way. And then on our way back, we had missed this on the way, but on our way back, we found this little like stone. It's like kind of off of the path closer to the pond. And it's this little like circular stone area that has, a, it was like a bench all the way around. So we, I see it and I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Like let's sit for a bit. And I walk in and I kind of jump up on the bench and on the side and I was like, wow, this is such a pretty view. And I turn around, I hop down and we were just talking and we were sitting on that bench and my dumbass emotional self starts to cry. Now, 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 it's not as embarrassing as you would think. So I kind of try to hide it because it's like, what freaking weirdo cries on a first date? You know, that's weird. So I start trying to angle my hat down, I'm like, trying not to sniffle so he doesn't like get the idea that I'm upset. And he like figured it out because I wasn't looking at him. I was kind of just like with the bill of the hat down. So he kind of finally figured out what was wrong. And I realized like in that moment, like how much fun I have with him, how much I liked him, you know, um, just how special our, you know, friendship, relationship, whatever has been so far. And I got sad because I knew straight out the gate that he wanted to join the army and he was leaving in June. So I just, I start, I got sad. I was like, wow, like I find this great guy. And of course it's right before he leaves to go to basic training. So I just got sad. And like, I, I told him that, you know, in a cuter way. And apparently, 
apparently, according to Matt, in that little moment is when he realized he loved me. But, um, and his reasoning is because, um, just that I knew him such a short amount of time and I cared so much and that I was so upset that he was leaving. So, um, you know, I, I finally told him why and he was like, you know, it's fine. Like we can work it out. We can figure it out. And I was like, <sighs> like I kind of was over dramatic, like cleaning up my tears. I was like, all right, no more sad. Like, let's go have fun. Let's keep walking. So, um, we start walking and we get back to the car and we're just like listening to music, singing everything. And he took me back to my dad's house. Cause I guess it was like that week I was at my dad's house and we pull into the driveway and he looks at me and he goes, can I come meet your dad? And I was like, you want to meet my dad on our first date? And he's like, yeah, like what's wrong with that? And I was like, I don't know, like he's a character, like you're a character, like I don't know, like do people normally meet parents on first dates? Like, um, I never really went on very like serious official first dates, so I don't really know. And um, he's like, yeah, like it'll be cool. Like I'll just catch up, like introduce myself. And I was like, okay. So we bring the pizza in and cause I was either gonna eat it later or my dad could. And I wandered and I was like, dad. And he's like, oh, hey buddy. I was like, I'm so glad he didn't say peaches. And um, cause that's what my dad, my parents call me peaches or peach because when I was born, I had really puffy pink, peachy pink cheeks. No, it has nothing to do with the peach emoji, how it means big butt now. It's because I had puffy cheeks when I was a baby. So anyways, I said, oh, like Matt wants to say hi and like, you know, meet you. And he goes, oh, okay, one second. And, like he was probably like working or something. So he comes downstairs, he's like, oh, hey, hey guys. And he either went out for a pretty good handshake or my dad did a fist pump. I think it was a fist pump. My dad's big on the fist pumps. And, uh, I think either to go put the pizza in the fridge or just like something, either take my whatever hat off or jacket off. Um, so I hear them like kind of getting to know each other. It sounds like it's going well. And, um, you know, I see, I can't remember this part, but I'm not sure if Matt like met my dad and like caught up and then just left or if he came in and like we hung out. I can't remember. Matt probably does, but I can't remember. Anyways, you know that stone area that I told you about at the pond? That's where Matt ended up proposing to me. I know, really cute. But, um, so, yeah. Um, I really, really wish we could go to Camella's like every year on March 31st, but the past two years we haven't lived at home, so we can't, and then it's kind of hard to go home and visit. So next year will be four years since our first date and we'll be able to go next year. But um, I think just remembering, you know, that day and where I am now, the fact that I had no idea, I had no idea that I was on my first date with my future husband and my best friend. Like, not to sound like, cheesy but when you're in high school you're not thinking about that stuff you're not thinking about like oh like I could marry this guy like you know I could be on my first date with you know my my future husband like you don't think about that because you're a kid like maybe you start thinking about that in college like later college or after like you just don't realize it at all so I thought like and I had no intention of like breaking up with Matt before he went into the army. I never wanted to do that because I liked him so much and I didn't want to, you know, break up with him just because he was going to be in basic and it was going to be hard to talk and then it was going to be long distance for a bit. Like, I didn't think that was like necessary. Like we could figure it out. Like if you like someone enough, if you love someone enough, don't you think it's kind of worth figuring out how to make it all work and like still see each other and talk and like, find your ways to like stay close and everything. So, um, it's so funny. I was so nervous and like jumpy and everything around him. And now it's the complete opposite. Like how, like how I say all the time, 
some people think it's weird how close we are and how we literally like some people say oh like you shouldn't tell your significant other everything i tell matt everything i mean everything like there is nothing that he doesn't know about me like he knows everything about me and um you know sorry i was, I was looking at the picture from that day but just how different we both look since that day is crazy. Like, um, you know, we, we were babies then. Like, I mean, we're, we're still only 20 and 21. We're still, you know, children. But still, we were babies then. And um, I'm really glad I have these pictures from that day. You can see in the background of the picture of Matt, you can see the part of the Camello sign. But, um... You know, I'm glad nothing too embarrassing happened. Like, the crying thing was a little embarrassing, but it's fine. Um, so, you know, that's the story of our first date. And um, I personally went with the whole I love you thing when he realized that's when he loved me. Um, I didn't, like... I don't really remember exactly, like, the exact moment I realized I loved him. I think, like, I did, but I didn't realize it for a while. But, um, he said it first. And I, when I say, like, I love you to, you know, someone I'm seeing, like, I don't just say it, like, because they said it. Or, you know, just to, like, that means a lot to me. So I want to know for sure before I say it, because I don't want, like, and this has been done to me before. Someone will say it, but they didn't actually mean it, you know? Like, I want to mean it. Like, I don't want to do him dirty like that. I don't want to say it and realize I don't, like. So I didn't say it back at first for a little bit. And, um, and it's not because I, like, thought, like, oh, I really know that I don't love him. It's... I am falling for him, but I want to, you know, get to that point where I know. So it really wasn't long after that that he said it that I said I love you. But, um, you know, we just grew very close and just trusted each other and just had the best bond and relationship so quickly because I think it's so good to be friends first before you start dating because you become such close friends that you're not just, you know, in a relationship and love each other, but you're also friends. You're also best friends, like underneath everything. So, um, you know, so quickly, I just had this feeling of feeling like I could tell Matt anything, like absolutely anything. I could share anything in the world with him. Like, and, you know, with no judgment about anything, just it's safe with him. He won't, you know, go run around telling everyone. And, you know, and that was really special, just how quickly I felt comfortable around him. And same with him. He told me all sorts of things, like personal things. And, you know, it was just very special just how we started dating. Like, it wasn't how people, you know... What's your Snapchat? Send nudes. Like, you know, just kind of household pickup lines. Like, it was special. Like, he was so sweet and nice. And, like, it's just, like, very respectful. Like, very, you know, it was just, whenever I'm talking about him, I keep looking down at the pictures from our first date to kind of put me in the day. But, um, are you okay, Frank? What's wrong? He sometimes just blankly stares at me. I don't know what that means. If there's any dog experts out here, please let me know. But um, basically, we just became very fast friends, very, like, we ended up dating pretty quickly. And, um, you know, I'm very grateful that we got so close so quickly because it probably would have been more difficult with our, you know, with him being in basic and our year of long distance, if we didn't have, I'm sorry about that banging, I think they're doing, um, 
uh, renovations either in the apartment below me or like next to me. But um, so we, you know, it just being so close, like we had so much to write about when we wrote letters to each other. And um, is the video still going? Okay, good. It really, you know, brought you back to just pen and paper and actually talking about your day and going in depth and detail. It could be half a page, it could be a page, it could be two, it could be three, like more than just like the, hey, what's up one-liners over text or like, you know, it just made me just appreciate writing letters more and I really like doing it. And it, and I learned so much from him and from how we first started dating, just patience and appreciating time and, you know, like making the best of as, as with the time you have together because we didn't have a lot of time together in the beginning but um so yeah um that's our first date story and happy first date anniversary babe um i always get so awkward during the intros and then what i say to close the videos but um i will See you guys soon. I have a lot of ideas for videos coming up. Um, I just have to pick. Sometimes I like, get really motivated and want to crank out a bunch of videos and then sometimes I'm like, wow, I don't feel like, you know, getting ready and making a video today. So happy first day anniversary, Maddie. I love you and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.